We are about to make the best barbecue combo known to man. You ready for it? Here we go. First things first, we're going to need some peppers. These peppers are fresh out of my garden, well, Jen's garden. What you may or may not know is that the heat comes from the seeds. Alright, what we got going on today? What do you want? Can I help you? Alright, I should let you in on what's going on today. We are cooking some burgers. We're cooking some chicken wings, all kinds of good stuff. First, I want to get these hot peppers into the burger without my dog eating the burger. Diesel. No. So we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. Montreal steak spice. Mix all this up. I can get two good burgers out of here. I roll them into a ball and flatten them out. Makes things a lot easier. I buy my ground beef in bulk. That way I can package it in about uh, half pound packages. Enough to make two or three patties. Then I'm only taking out one package at a time. Sorry guys, I had to cut the video off there. Diesel wanted a fist fight for one of these burgers. So there we've got, so we got four beef patties, three chicken patties. Also on the beef patties, I'm gonna try this. I haven't tried this yet. This is Stubbs Beef Rub. Also, when I do the chicken wings, nothing fancy on the chicken wings, I just leave them in a bag. Frank's Red Hot Powder. I'll coat them in that, mix it all around. On the grill they go. That's simple. All right, guys, switched over to the GoPro now. We're gonna get these burgers outside. It's about to rain. The chimney sitting over there. It's in about 350. So I am not gonna put these on direct heat. Put your hands here. There we go. Again, they're all away from the heat. All right, that's that. I'm gonna try and keep this around 300. That should work. Now we're gonna go work on the chicken wings. All right, chicken wings are marinated. We'll get them on the barbecue next. Does that not look tasty? Guys, I'm using a brand new GoPro. I don't have an external mic, so I'm only using the onboard mic, so hopefully, I'll find out when I go to edit this, that the audio is working okay. So I am going to put the wings closer to the heat. They'll probably cook a little quicker. I'll probably eat these before the stuff's done, but yeah, let's get them on the grill. How does that look? If you could smell the marinade. So like I said, we're gonna let this, these cook around 300 degrees. I'm gonna throw some applewood chips on there. Probably get it smoking right shortly. And the reason I put them on early is because once your, once your meat starts to get that little crust on it, 
it's tougher for things to penetrate. So if I put it on now, while the meat is still raw, it'll soak the smoke in. At least that's my theory. That's you Now once you add the wood, this is what you get. I'd say we uh, a little bit of a fire. It's barbecue it's supposed to be a fire, isn't it? I want to try and knock that down just a little bit. Right in the middle of my barbecue. I told y'all it was gonna rain. As I'm about to say, it's not gonna stop me. It's coming down. Time for me to go flip the food. No camera, sorry. Can't afford to lose them. I do need a shower. I do need a shower. All right, well that was a uh, fogging up here. That was enough to get me wet. Let's go check the food. That's still looking good. All right, well thanks to that rain, we're sitting around 275. I'm gonna leave it there for probably another 40 minutes or so. No more woods going on. The barbecue, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. It'll continue to smoke a little bit and hopefully it'll get a tick hotter and we'll be ready to eat the ultimate barbecue combo. All right, now this is the ultimate barbecue combination. Chicken wings, potatoes, and a burger. And don't tell me none of you have never had your burger on bread. You're not a true redneck unless you eat your burger on bread. Buns are for rich people. I know it's not polite to eat in front of you, but I'm gonna anyways. The wings. A little bit of Frank's powder. Some chicken seasoning. That was it. Burger on bread. With onions from my garden. I don't think you all want to watch me eat, so I'm going to cut this video off here. We finished my supper. Wings, burgers, potatoes, and a little Jim Beam. See y'all in the next one. Don't eat all the wings.